Hi and welcome to my Python YouTube channel. It's awesome to have you here. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be great. And make sure to subscribe for future videos. I also have a blog at prospercoder.com with lots of cool stuff, so feel free to check it out. In the previous couple parts of this Panda 3D series, we were modeling and texturing a building model. Let's go to Layout Workspace to see it better. Now, it would be great to see it in Panda 3D. In this part, we're going to export it to the GLTF format, and in the next part, we're going to load it in Panda 3D. Now, before we export the model, Let's check one more time whether it's ready to export. As for static models, like the building, so models without animations, we have to make sure the origin point is where we want it to be and the scale is applied. We already took care of it, but let's check again. So we'll go to front view, hit 1 on your numpad to do that, and hit N to open the sidebar. Now, as you can see, the origin point is at the bottom so exactly where we want it to be, which is good. And the scale is set to 1 on each axis, which is also good. Hit M to close the sidebar. Now, actually, you don't have to worry, because even if something is wrong with the model, you can always correct it in Blender and export again. Now, exporting to GLTF. So, let's export the model to the GLTF format. Blender handles this format out of the box, so we don't need any add-ons, which used to be the case with the AG format, where you had to install the Yabby add-on. Anyway, go to the File menu and under Export, select the GLTF format. File, Export, GLTF. Now a dialog window opens with a few options for you to choose. Now let's have a look at the settings. Let's start with the format. There are three options available. GLTF binary. It's a very concise format where all the information about meshes, textures and so on is packed into a single binary file. We could use this option, but the downside of this format is that it's not human readable. Then we have the GLTF embedded option. Now, what we get using this option is a JSON text-based file. In the Blender documentation, you will find the following warning. This is the least efficient of the available forms and should only be used when required. Then, there is the third option, GLTF separate. Here's the description from Blender documentation. This produces a JSON text-based GLTF file describing the overall structure along with a bin file containing mesh and vector data and optionally a number of PNG or JPG files containing image textures referenced by the GLTF file. We can also see a tip. Having an assortment of separate files makes it much easier for a user to go back and edit any JSON or images after the export has completed. Anyway, the binary format seems pretty simple to handle as there is just one file with all the information packed in it. However, we're going to use the GLDF separate option in this series so that we can see how our models are represented in it. So, select in the drop down menu over here the last option, GLTF separate. Then you will see another field, textures, where you can type the name of the folder in which the texture images should be put. The folder will be in the same location as the GLTF file. Let's name the folder text. So, type in Text. You can also fill in the copyright information, but I'm going to skip it. Now let's also check the Remember Export Settings checkbox so that the same settings will be used when we open the blend file again. Then we have the Include section. Click on the arrow to expand it. Here we're only going to check Limit to Selected Objects. This is to ensure that only the selected object is exported. In our case, the building model. We don't want to export other objects like the camera or light. Now, in the transform section, 
Let's leave plus Y up checked. This is the GLTF convention of exporting models. In the geometry section, you don't need to change anything either. We don't have any modifiers, so there is nothing to apply. We are going to use some modifiers with the other models in this series, but we'll be applying them directly in Blender. We want to export the UVs and normals, so leave these options on. Naturally, we also want to export materials. The last section is animation. Let me just collapse these sections for now. Our building model is not animated, so we're not going to tweak the settings in here. Now, with all the settings in place, you can now press the Export GLTF2 button. This will export your model to the GLTF format. Now, open your project folder, Models, Building, maybe large icons. In your project folder, you should now see two new files, the building GLTF file and the binary building bin file, as well as the text folder with the textures. So the model is now exported and we can use it in Panda 3D. In the next part, we'll install the GLTF utilities for Panda 3D and then we load our model. Also, feel free to check out my awesome Blender YouTube channel which is completely dedicated to Blender. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.